Y'all hold still. <laughs> so, uh, everybody asked me how. how did, uh, they don't ask me how. They said, "Well, you didn't cover the making of the spheres. How did you make the spheres? So the planets, basically. Uh, so, uh, like, I just make them randomly. Uh, for the most part, I'm using. I think these are ice cube tray molds uh, that you get at the grocery store, or the dollar store, or wherever you want to get them from." you find them they're different sizes like this one here is pretty big actually uh, so some of these these bigger ones like this uh, I believe that was this one maybe not kind of appears I was wrong so um, yeah this this might be something else. oh that, that was one of these guys I think was it this one yeah there we go it was that one so uh, these molds here I actually got from let's resin uh, they don't make they don't make this anymore. I, I had link in the description below, but apparently there wasn't enough of a demand for it. But when I bought it, I bought two of them and, it, and another ice cube ice cube type tray thing. Now uh, these do tend to deteriorate. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Maybe here um, you can see in here as it's well, it's going to focus for you, but. It's just starting to deteriorate from the heat of the resin. So you see how yellow it is. It's not nice and smooth anymore. You, you know, so, like here, this one's all ripped apart. Uh, I think uh, this one here is ripped apart because it's starting to deteriorate. Uh, it, it just happens. I mean, you're, you're putting an extreme amount of heat to them. And you see how the resin didn't come off of here? It's just not it's sticking to it. See that? So, uh, so it, it they do... They do deteriorate. Now these ones here, these are kind of a pain in the butt to get off. They work, but how long before these deteriorate? You, you know, I like the the two-piece molds better, I think. Personally, I like them. But uh, we're going to make some of these today so you all have an idea on how to do it. And it's not really that difficult. The other thing I get is, how do you mix the colors? How long do you wait? Like, you know, that one kind of looks like an eyeball. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't wait. I just pour them. Uh, it is. I get what I get. So the colors, the colors will separate. If you wait, you run into issues. And so we're gonna we're gonna do some uh, blue and white, I think, because I got a pile in there. Ultimately, you know, I'll, I'll end up doing a, a space theme thing. So like this thing here. So I got planets in it, and this is like that planet cup mold. I put that over here in the corner. Uh, galaxy cup I think I call it but this was a different one that I made and and like I haven't turned this yet so I got the interference colors in it and the, the purple blurple and blue and red and uh, yeah green and, and the glitters and that so th this is what I was doing with them uh, so another thing I found is that you need to seal these because they don't stay together and they tend to leak so I'll hot glue all the way around these because it doesn't take much, see, and whoop, pops apart. And you'll, you know, your resin is expensive. Hot glue is cheap, as Zach says. So, uh, I generally hot glue them together. Here's one that's hot glued, so uh, you can see it's, it's just enough to hold it together so it stays that way until the resin sets up. Uh, I don't think you can see this one here is really bad, so I'm not going to use that one. See, it's all blowed out. So they, like I said, they do deteriorate. This one is no good. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how many of these are good and aren't good. Like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get another one out of that or not. We'll give it a go. I'll show you kind of how it goes about it. You, if you wait for the separation on the color, you'll end up with globs, and you can't. I've used alumilite on these, and alumilite goes off way too fast to. To do too many of these so you got to limit yourself to what you do with alumilite because it's like you're going to get all of these and a couple of these and alumilite is done because when you're mixing colors trying to pour it through that little hole it takes way too much time when you're trying to be nice so we're going to use total boat today for this it got a 40 minute work time but that's generally based on how much you mix up in initially all right I'll put this up here somewhere where we can see it eh so anyway, it don't take a whole lot. Just uh, have to hold it together. Of course, this one here, when you pinch it, it comes out. And yes, when you stick your finger in the hot glue, it's hot. That's 
pretty much it right there and move on to the next one. So. See how easy they come apart? <laughs> Hot glue comes right off of them. Not that it's focusing or anything. I can't tell because I can't see it. Boo! Oh, oh, just like that. It's really hot. Ah, it's burning my thumb. And it's sticking to the table. <laughs> yeah, put this back on there. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. that feels so awesome. Oh, still sticking to my finger. Look at it. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh. <clears throat> okay, so I am going to try and make a moon kind of thing. So I'm going to use this uh, pigment paste, eye candy pigment paste. It's a white. It's pretty thick. And it doesn't like <coughs> to open because I got some on the edge apparently. <laughs> so it doesn't really take a whole lot of this stuff and you see me use it once but you see what I'm putting on there so um, I'm not sure how to get it off of here but we'll, we'll scrape it onto here and and then we're gonna go with uh, black So Alumilite, uh oh, here we go, Alumilite black dye, and this stuff's pretty potent too, so apparently I don't have any in there. <laughs> Maybe I need the other container of it. Oh no, there we go. So I'm going to go with a, a drop. Maybe. Yeah, that'll work. I'll go with a drop. I don't want it real dark because the moon's not really black, it's more gray. So. Apparently, that is not going to mix. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> and then this stuff, and I'm going to use this twice because I'm going to do one that's kind of like a, uh, an ice planet. So we're going to have water and ice on it, but not this batch. This batch here we're going to do, I am looking for a moon. No reason why I've got this collab coming up. <laughs> I, w I wouldn't know why I need a moon for anything. Do y'all know why I need a moon for anything? <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, I need a moon in my project. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I am using dirty cups because why waste some other ones when you know, the, <clears throat> I'm not looking for clear, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just using a stoner, heavy duty silicone mold release, and it doesn't really take a whole lot of this stuff. So, um, you know, like. Uh oh, look at that. I didn't do that one. <laughs> Too. All right, I'm gonna hot glue that together here in a bit. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna do this in the pressure pot, and I'm just gonna kind of stack them until I run out of resin. All right, so I'm in the pressure pot. I I've used the bucket just in case we have some oopsies, as you can see I have. So you can see where the molds are sitting. Pr pretty much, you just set them down in here and. I was pouring the resin into them like so. It's kind of guesstimating hitting, hitting it, but you know, here's what it is. So a little bit of white. This is why the resin starts to set up, because it takes too long to do this. Let me get the black now. It definitely would help if the resin wasn't pouring around something. <laughs> All right, I'm white again. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so all that overflow that I'm doing there, uh, you can break that all down and put it into fun cups. See how small that hole is? <laughs> That's gonna be a pain to hit. Oops, and that done screwed it up. Now you see how the resin got all over the bottom? So this guy here, we need to clean him out. Yeah. Is that time consuming? Just when you goof like that. <clears throat> all right here. You know, see these ones are kind of shrinking there. I'm about to give up on this little one, I think. See why this is difficult with Lumilite? Oopsie. Might be too much now. So most of these will turn out similar to each other, but you never know what they're going to look like on the inside. Especially as I start getting here to where the resin's warming up. I'm going to put one more right in the middle on these, hopefully. We'll see here. Maybe, maybe not. They're about the same size, so I'll put that one right in the middle. I don't have enough resin to fill it up, so but it'll be all right. Put her in the pressure pot. And we'll put this in here at 40 PSI until tomorrow. And we'll come back and extract those. Now I'm gonna do the next one. I'm gonna do another color. And I'm going to do it at, um, I'll probably speed it up a little bit, but we'll, we'll do what I got left over there which is a couple of really big ones and some small ones and we'll do those at blue and white we'll do blue and white that sounds like a good good thing to do so all righty so 40 psi all right so now that's going to drop the level of the the resin in the molds because there's air in it and air takes up space so when you compress the air the resin drops so your, re your molds are never going to be all the way full so you're going to end up with uh, something like this where it's dropped in now this is because it was not in a pressure pot so this is all bubbles that were up at the top at the bottom and everything so what you get see how this is smooth and there's no bubbles in it because this one was pressurized so and that's just extra resin that's really cool looking like that though <laughs> And then this one here was not pressurized.
pulled all my molds out of the pressure pots. Uh, they come apart pretty easy, actually. So, you know, there's your... The mold release helps a lot. It does. It really does. So, uh, that one doesn't look too bad. Not quite what I wanted, but you know how resin is. Look at that. <laughs> so, nope, nope, stay there, you. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> I'm getting this one apart. Maybe, maybe some of these are getting stuck pretty good, so no, not too bad. Oh, those might look pretty good as my moons. They might, they just might. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Alright. So, uh oh This one is not letting go. <laughs> we may not be getting this one. It doesn't look like it wants to let go in there. Well, yep, yep. Got it. It's just stuck a little bit. Right there. See that? So, it's here. I'll bring this up here so you can see it. Uh, this is where the mold is deteriorating enough that it's starting to come apart. Not that you can see it in there, but you can see it on there. Uh, so they do go bad. Um, you can see it's it's doing it all the way around. Doing it all the way around. So, uh, 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 you know, so I'm probably going to pitch this mold. It's not coming apart real easy. Uh, look. <laughs> Even with mold release. But hey, you know. So, yeah. So, anyways. <laughs> well, I guess the problem with these ones is the flashing. Those are kind of dark, aren't they? <laughs> talking about is you can take this stuff here and you can put it down into the to the fun cup. Look, I'm bleeding all over the place. Huh. Yeah, I would get the hot glue off of it first, but you know. So as you see the the hot glue has melted off this because how hot it got. But that's how hot this resin gets in there. You can see it melted down the sides instead of being clumped up like I had it. So, you never know what's on the inside. They, they look funny here. The insides might just be great. You never know. All right, so there you have it. <laughs> My mess of planets. That's how I made them. That's how you can make them. Uh, I mean, you don't have to go and buy these. Uh, originally, I bought them because I wanted to do a solar system. I'm going to go through these and decide which one it is I want from my my collab project I got going over there. <laughs> and um, go over to the sticker board maybe, huh? Scenic City Wood Turning. Boy, did I screw that up the first time. <laughs> so, thanks for sticker, Mike. You can see right there. <laughs> and he does have a channel, so he's just got over a thousand subscribers. So if you all want to go check him out and subscribe if you like what he's got going on over there. Um, and thanks for your sticker. <laughs> so anyways, yes, I know it's not a wood turning project, but I get asked a lot. Hey, why didn't you show us how you made the spheres? So pretty much just silicone molds. Uh, this was ice cube trays. Now, I haven't tried to put this one into pressure pot. I usually just extra resin a little bit at a time. That's how I get the layer stripe planets in some of the projects. Uh, you know, you can do any colors you want. Uh, like this one here is orange, purple, and I think there's a hot pink in there, maybe some clear. Eh. And I was specifically looking for something. So, the black and white. And then I wanted, uh, I wanted planet molds now, or 
water planets, basically ice planets. So as you can see, inside is a little different. So you can't go based on what it looks like on the outside. That you never know what's in there. And then you can do anything you want with them. You can pretty much turn them into, uh, you know, funk up planet mold type things like this. Now I've made you know little little cups or goblet type things out of those. Uh, I've added them to voids in wood to take up space so I reduce the amount of exothermic reaction. Part of the reason I did those and they're really cool looking when they look like landscapes with planets out in the back of them. So anyways, uh, go check out Mike. I put it over there. I'll put him in the description below. Thanks for the sticker again, Mike. Um, yeah, give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I know it wasn't a project, but something y'all wanted to know. And yeah, we'll catch y'all next week. Have a nice weekend. Bye. <laughs> Which way is it going? <laughs> okay, so over there. Scenic city. Yeah.